Welcome to Yeshiva Dab, she is sponsored by Lunish Basam Yakushol Nab Sitzchok. We're holding in Boabasro Dab Tzadik. We're starting to repeat some of the bags in the body. The more now says like this Tari Namiyachi. We just learned the idea that a person should not have the wrong measurement in his house. So the more Tari Namiyachi, Lo Yishi Odo Mido Chaseiro or Yaseiro Abutel Peso. Prison should not have in his house a mido which is missing or too small, too big. Even if it's, I mean, even if it's dirty, he may come to use it. So he could do other measurements. What's other measurements? He could do seyo, tirkov, vechatzi tirkov, vekav, vechatzi kav, veroiva, vetoimen, vechatzi toimen, so here we'll just be behind a little bit what's the measurements. We're talking about different measurements called the classic measurements for Yovish, for Juhai. Hmm. So let's see over here. It says the Rishbam explains. We have over here, what are we going to go through? We have here, um, Seyo, that's one thing. Then we have Tirkov. What's Tirkov? Tirkov is a Kav Umechzo. Right? In other words, a seyo is six kav. A seyo is six kav. And a chati kav, uh, right? It, uh, and, and, and it, so we have here a seyo, which is six kav. Then you have a tir kav, which is three kavs, tre kav, right? So that's tre vikav, tre vikav, sorry, tre vikav. So seyo is six kav. Then you have tir kav, which is three kav. Chati tirko, what is a chati tirko? It's, it's a kav and a half. The kav, okay, so one kav. The chati kav, half of that. The roiva, quarter of a kav. And then you get to toimen. What is a toimen? So it comes over here, and it says like this. Um, so we have over here kav, we have over here chati kav, we have here a roiva, a quarter, uh, and then we have, and so here, the, and then we have here, the, something that the Rajbam adds is Chatsi Roiva. Chatsi Roiva means half of a quarter, which is a, which is an eighth. So now, what is the toimen? So let's see this the Rajbam over here. This is the one thing in, just the kud in this daf to get into. The Rajbam says like this: Toimen ikel meimai nishmini salud bilakamam. Maybe it's like nishmini salud. The uchel lekay fire shechal nechamisha beRoiva. That's another measure. This is the Rajbam mikashvi. I I have a problem with this. The Ukrainian kavush kos besor shlanu. My idea, kapoich lekaman, tumon veuchlo loy levit. Right? The Gemara says later, don't do tumon veuchlo. We'll see soon why. Should the toe eat, should be revi kapoichlo. People make a mistake within a court. That's what the Gemara is going to get to. The alav kushi shari at toimen gadol min veuchlo yoisem ikiflay. If toimen is a quarter, an eighth of a kav, so if, 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 why? If shvi is a kav, if shvi is a lugu, I know uchlo. So. The Rishbam has a problem. What is toimen? Is toimen an uh, eighth of a kav or eighth of a lug? If it's eighth of a lug, it's much more than the uchlo, which we'll get to the kavon, which is uh, which is which is which is, which is a much smaller amount. And if it's and it, and so, the Gemara is going to ask later that toimen and uchlo we have a problem because they're very close to each other. It's not close at all. For Yishvi is a kav, I know chati reva. So El Achik Yosef says, "Live with the Gersa says the Rishbam has a problem." Kav, look what you mentioned, Chatsi Kav, Veroiva, which is a quarter of a Kav, the Toimen, the Chatsi Toimen, the Uchlo, that's our Gersu. The Kami Uchle Chami Chamisha Veroiva, who Pirusha, what's the Pirusha in the Braiso? Kav is for Lug, and Lug is Vab Beitin. It's not a Kav Chadal Beitin, so we're going to look at it from the, from the egg perspective. If I am over here a Kav, how many eggs do I have? 24 eggs. Chatsi Kav, which is two Lugs, which is 12 Beitin. Veroiva, I knew Luke, right? Because every kav is four Luke. So a quarter of a kav is, a quarter, of a, a, a quarter is a Luke. That's six eggs. Kol roiva, roiva kav. Kol roiva, each of roiva is a Luke. Fechen toimen. So now I got to roiva kav. After the roiva, I get to toimen. What is toimen? Shmini sakav. Toimen is shmini sakav. Toimen is an eighth of a kav. I knew chatsi roiva. Right? That's chatsi roiva. And that is three eggs. Chatzor, girls, 
עוד לגבי קו גורס רואה ותוימן, והתוימן חצי לופ בגימל ביצים, חצי תוימן ביצו ומחצו. So you're going here basically on the, on the measurements, you go from 24 eggs, 12 eggs, 6 eggs, 3 eggs, a egg and a half, and, uh, an egg and a half. That's what we got until now. And now we get to what is uchlo. Uchlo, echad mechamisha b'revia. What is that? So k'dur ashbam, echad mechamisha b'luk, ayinu beitzo mechamish beitzo. So after I got to a, 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 a egg and a half, that's chatzit toimus, egg and a half. Now what are we going to, what is going, going from here? An egg in a fifth of egg. Six fifths of egg. That's what it is. Now, so I says to us, Bob, can't push me to the ikor. We're in the narrow lines here. The hash to loy odiv chatzit toim and al uchlo kim chaymish, because the chaymish, the uchlo is an egg and a fifth, and the chatzit toim is an egg and a half. So what is the difference between egg and a fifth and egg and a half? It's only a fifth. In other words, it's seven fifths and a half. It's a little bit of 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 24 eggs, 12 eggs, 6 eggs, 3 eggs, egg and a half. But now from the egg and a half, we're going to egg and a fifth. That's the measurement that we have over here in this stage of the morning. Okay. So now we turn that. Let's go now to the Mimida Salah. Mimida Salah is liquid. Hose hin. What you said before, that's 12 lug. The Chatzin, 6 lug. Shlish is a in a court, which is, which is a 4 lug. Revi is saying, which is a quarter we said before. The lug. The Chatzin lug. The Revi is a quarter of a lug. It's all halves. Shrinis, eighth of a look. They have the Shmoina Shabashrinis. And then you have an eighth of an eighth, the Zokartuf. Something more now, going back to the Yovish. We have a Nami Kabayim. We said you have you have a uh, Seyo, which is six Kav. You have Tirka, which is three Kav. And then you have a Kav. Why don't we have two Kavs? Why don't we have two Kavs? I don't have Kabayim. I say, please be take up two to three, they'll make a mistake. People will, will, will cheat with it. So a third, up to a third people make mistakes. That's why everything we did till now is halves. Right? 24 eggs, to 12 eggs, 12 eggs, to 6 eggs, 6 eggs, to 3, always halves. I don't want to do a third. Because a third people make mistake. What's a chatzit tirkav? is three kav. Tirkav is one and a half. Kav to one and a half is a third difference. So you see people make mistakes. If you make people make mistakes up to a third, you should have a cow and a cow and a half. Ela kavai ma'inu time below. So why don't we do two cow? Nasei chlubi bechatzit tir cow. Meaning, kavai, I don't get a, a do, not because two to three, but two to one and a half. What's the difference between one and a half and two? A quarter. I'm a toy in chirivo. People make a mistake of a quarter. Yachi chatzit toy min v'uchlo le levi. Now we're going to the last case. Chatzit toy min, we said, what is it? That is... A, we have over here is an egg and a half. And toy man is an egg and a fifth. So the difference is not much less than a quarter. My papa, me does ktona is bo inchi. People know. People know the difference. But it's very small. People already have the sense. They know the difference. That's why I'm not a chlishish. Shez says the most chlishish ayin very say lo yilavit. Why do I do a, th- a, th- a third of a yin and a quarter of a yin? Again, the difference is less than a quarter. Kadavo me does go goes over a bottom. We, we had a base of English. How do we have a base of English? said the Rosh remember we said before that we had Shnostos Hoyu Bain. Remember the Heen had different measurements. And part of the measurements was four Shlishes and Revis for the Karbanas. We had to know the oil. Shlishes and Revis and said the Gemara, so it said the Gemara, but English time in So why don't we have a Xerah and English? Krihanim is Zuizi and by Krihanim, there's no mistakes over here. There's reason they know exactly what to do. And then we know Machashash over there. Okay, so the Mamash one, we see here on the Midnus Yosef Mishtus, we learn on Be'a Yosef Mishtus. You want to change the, the, the Midnus. You want to say that now, now instead of selling five for a dollar, you want to come and sell six for a dollar. Don't add more than a Shtus. Up to a Shtus, you add none more. Shtus is a six, but not more. And also the coin, don't add more than a Shtus, but so if someone comes with a do, the, the value of a coin, should not be more than a Shtus. In addition, I'm Yistakia, Yistakia Yosef Mishtus. The person who makes profit, should not make profit more than a shtus. The profit should be 
only up to Ashtos. We saw that also more Mitzia. You don't make more than that. We try to explain, we talk about commodities, that that's the only way. It's something everybody buys. You can make sure that the, 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 the profit is not that much. People can be able to survive. Why don't we add more than a six on, on the meters? Because I don't want to come and 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 change the shar, and meaning people are going to start bringing uh, new food and they see the shar change, it will cause a, a hunger and a problem. People are going to come and change the value. Shtus not be so don't add even a shtus. The reason is because we know what they know. If I do. If I'm going to add more than a shtus, comes a new guy to town, some, a, a merchant comes to town, he doesn't know if they added. So he's going to come and say, oh, um, I want to, what's the, what, what's the shire over here? You sell the measurement of a ka, of a, of a, of a uchlo for five dollars. But right now, they, they changed the uchlo. They made it, added, added more to it. So he was, he, he was, uh, I know, he was supposed to get for five, he was supposed to, to sell it for more money. So this guy right now, or he's a buyer, he has to buy for lust, he has to buy for lust money. So he made a mistake. What happens up to the Shtus? The Rishbam, there's many shittas that we show him the exact kudu over here, but just to look at the Rishbam, is that the Shtus, up to the you just give back the difference. And the, and the sale stays. More than the is everything bottle. So I don't want to change the shower more than the Shtus, because then all the sales that people don't know will be bottle. So then, what, what do you mean? Valmer Rava called Dovah should be Mido and Mishko Mido, and I feel Bokos Bechter and Noy Choyzer. That's how it did. Every time that I have Mido, if I measure things exactly, even the smallest change, it's it, 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 Yuchoyzer for it. Again, your discussion we're showing Yuchoyzer for what? Only from the change or Choyzer from the whole thing? Hello, the Lehave, Psey, the Lehtav. There's one of the trust different. A guy comes, and he usually sell. Well, he usually sells, uh, what he, what he buys something for five and he sells it for six. So his profit is one dollar because we said you can't make a profit more than a six. So his, his sales always, always a six. So if you're going to come and change the shar for five to six, what's going to happen? He lost his, his profit. That extra six that he, he used to make money, that's what he's going to have to give for the, that's what he basically is going to, is going to sell for. So he's not going to make, he's not going to make money. If I do more, so now he's going to lose the profit. He's going to also have a loss. So that's why I say don't make a change more than a six because if it's a six, so it, it's, the, it's the profit. But more than a six is more than a profit. So more, and if it's the profit, that's fine. Say the do the I don't want to have to say the rav chole boy. Do you want to give him a profit? Zovon vezovin tagri ikri. Someone who buys and sells for the same value is that is that considered to be a a, 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 a businessman? You can make money. You have to make a profit. You change the shine. The guy that loses from it. Elam amchis do shmuel kroash kavidos. You learn from a pasuk. It's not because of swar. It's because of pasuk. It says the pasuk that a shekel is three gero, a three shkalim, chamisha be a three shkalim, a sar be chamisha shekel money elachim. So it says like this: the shekel, the Torah wants to tell me what the shekel is. So you see, it's a three gero, that's what it is, and what and how much? That's the shekel is a three gero. I'm telling you that a three shkalim, chamisha be a three shkalim, a sar be chamisha shekel. What is that together? You have your twenty plus twenty five. 45 plus 15, it's 60. 60 shekel, hamoni yalachim. So 60 shekel, says the Torah, that 60 shekel is one money. Now, why it says you're 20 plus 25 plus 15? So, the first you can play in different ways. The Torah says, it says a few explanations uh, that there were different mishkailas. They had different mishkailas that were this 20 shkailim, 15 shkailim, 25 shkailim. And he brings a shot in the name of Rabbi Shulam that says that's the word, it's based on Bikas Kriyan. Because in Birkas Quran, you have Yevarechecho, has 15 letters. By Yair, you have 20 letters. And by Yisra, you have 25 letters. So it's a real to that. That's what they said this way. But together, it's 60. So 60 shkolim is a money. Now, what is a money? We know that money is 100. And how much is a shekel? Shekel is four. So usually throughout Shas, how many shkolim do we have in a money? 25. 25 times four is 100. So how do you get to 60? Why are you saying 60? Not 60, it's 25. So says the Gemara, says the Gemara, that's like one base. That's what I was asking. Money, why it's only 100? My time, my boy, my boy, my boy, my boy, If a shekel is four, and I have over here 60 shekels, 60 times four is 240. Hello, Shwami, not class. So what do you see from here? Something like this. 
Shvami no Monish the Kodesh Kavloi. First of all, the Monish Kodesh was double. Thursday has the sheet of three outshots because it was, it, was a, it was a bigger shekel. So a regular shekel is 25 shekelim of money. But Hegdish is double. So it's not 25, it's 50. Because right? it's, it's a bigger more money. So it, 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 it's double. It's double. Instead of being 25, like a regular one is 50. Okay, it's 50. How do you get to 60? The Shvami no Monish the Amidus. They added to the Mita. The meat, it used to be 50 shekels of money, but they had to, now it's more. How much, instead of being 50 shekelim a, 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 a money, it's 60 shekelim a money. And you don't have more than shekels. Why? Because you see over here, the Torah said, the meat, they wanted to increase it. So they took it from 50 to 60. Meaning they added another a six. They added a six. And uh, you see, and then we look at the Torah, that, the Torah says you can add a six, you add up this, what the Torah says, and now more. Another thing you learned from me, I still need to address till now. How do I measure the, the six? Is the six, is the six from, from, is it six from the original or six from the, what, what it comes out of? So if I had, so here's the question, it will be 50, and I can add a six to 50, so I have to divide 50 by six, comes out to be about 80 and change, and I can get it up to 50 to 58 and change. We don't do that. What we do is, we take 50, we divide by 5, which one is 10, and I add a 10 to it, so I'm adding a 6 to the total. I mean, it, it, it's a 6 of the of the end result. How much is the end? 60. I added 10 to 50, so I added a 6 to the end. That's called Shtus the bar. That's Shtus Bin Gavar. That's from the original one. Shtus to the end. And that's what Gemara says, that you see from here, that Shtus Bin bar, meaning the, the Shtus from the outside, you see it's a Shtus. That's the Cheshbonus. Something like there's a Papa by Shmuel talking Kailo by Kloto Kevisi. He came and he made a measurement of Kloto Kevisi, which is nine lug. Right? That's what it is. That's what the Bible says. So we said we're not going to have a Now we had, the Bible explained, what, what, what do we have to, he got to nine, to nine, uh, nine lug. There it That is, he went to Chatsi Tirkov. Chatsi Tirkov is a cow and a half. Right? It's a cow and a half, which is six look. He added to it a third. He added, it's, it's, he added, he added, he added a third. Uh, and therefore what? You you said only a shtus you can have. I'm, a kailo chata tekine. No, he says, I'm doing a new measurement in places that don't have this measurement. You're right. In places you have a measurement of six, I don't do, you're not going to use the nine. It's a new places. Chato to Pabadiso, the loy kiblua. They accepted the Pabadiso, they didn't accept it, even though it was, by then maybe it was okay. Uh, the, the Papunayo, the new place called Papunayo, the Kiblu, the Korolei weighs Papa. They called it the weight of Papa. Something more. Tommy Rabbana. Oh, it's sorry, Paris. It's sorry, Paris. People, people that when there's fruits, they go and they take fruits and they put it stored, waiting for the time when the fruits are not available to sell for more expensive. Umal de Beribis. People that lend Beribis. Umektine Eifo. The people that change the size of the Eifo, of a measurement. Umafkia Shoim. They call and start it's slightly more expensive. And then the cost of Oimer, Lemor, Mataya, Avora, Chodesh, Benashbir, Shever. This is the post because the, so the Rishbam explains that when the month will leave, will end, and then we'll start making a sales. That's waiting for a, a proper time to sell. It gets more expensive. The Ashavas, once the Shavas, which means the Shemitah comes, then Niftichal Bar, and we're going to come and open the bar when, when people don't have food. Like tin eifo to change the eifo, which is the measurement, or like deal shekel to change the shahar, or like bet muzim imur in general to be cheaters. I'm not going to forget what they did. There's no shvu of kishbola for that. Maybe the shem and the shom of shul discuss a little bit more why why there's no shvu over here. Say more. It's only peiros kigoyin man. What is the tzorpes? Give me an example. On my view, kedon kigoyin shatay otza peiros. You don't want to be this shop then, right? Someone who sells, he, want, he purposely put fruits aside to sell to the poor people and more expensive. Um, so says the Gemara, Abu the Shmuel, Ma'lun leperi betar charifa, ketar charifa. What does it mean? He made sure to take a lot of fruits and sell for the cheapest amount and the time of the cheapest amount. Right? And, and the, that's the fact. He made sure, he wanted to make sure that all the poor people will have the fruits. He right away delivered the fruits and sold it right away in the time when it's with low, lower price. Shmuel Gray, Shmuel's son, Mashal appeared. He didn't wait for the pears. 
He waited when the fruits became more expensive and he sold it for the cheaper price for the poor. So he continued to sell for the cheaper price even when they went more expensive. Better with the father than the son. My time at Tara the Rabbi Chalach. It's better not to wait for the price to be more expensive as they want. You wait, things are selling for you, you, three pounds a dollar. Suddenly it becomes out only one pound a dollar, now you sell for three pounds a dollar. Already price has changed. Yes, you take care of the poor, but the price changes. It's better to make sure the price don't change. By giving a bigger supply, the price will never change. Don't let it change and then fix it. Just don't let it change. Something more my rab, I saw them as cowboy oitzo. The person can do his cow for himself or Of course, you can store food for yourself. That you can do. Tanya meyaki, you know, it's the very shame of high nefesh. You don't use commodities, high nefesh. You don't put it aside. You go yenus, shmonim, wine, and oil, the salt, is flour. I will tabling, kemoin, or pilpling, but spice is mutter. That's something you just find people don't need it so much. But men learn when we look at my shoe, you buy it for the market to keep it for later to sell it. I'm a chizma shalim mutter, the person can keep it for himself, for his own, for his own no food. For three years for himself, he needs fruit for Eir Shvita, that's for that year, and for the Shvita because he can't grow, and with the Shvita until it grows again, he can put it together. So he can put aside it for himself. Um, right? That's the response to the response to the response to the response to there, I, I, I want to correct one thing. I said there was one thing wrong. Whatever he takes from his own sade, he can, he can, he can store it. That's fine. Look at Losh Rajma. This cowboy, Mashibala Ket, Misadoiso. The Lish Mayanoka, Kabai, or Toy Miach, or Talk of Jabofu. They ain't in social, you can't be in a shoe, but the problem is to buy it from the market. I'm an athlete, so. A mule, and as his base, so it's for his own, but also, you're holding Knois of Inlu Misadoiso. To his own self, he can do even buy. If it's growing in his field, he can put it aside. Of his day, but sorry, so he'll come through the lawyer. So, if it's a tire, but sorry, so hunger, a coffin don't go and put uh, put aside even a, even a small amount of 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 cup through. If you make this me air, be sure it causes cold. You put aside something because there's not a lot of supply, it causes a big issue in the home market. Uh, overly abusive, a chanil la pugo, pugo shami, tell pugo shamish, puk utterly peri shaloshoni, put fruits aside for me in three years. Er shvies, shvies, with shvies, as the Gemara says, and, wh- and why is that? Look at the Rishban, the last the two lines of the Rishban. Puga puga tzor beret tzor loy. Is there tzor? What's the chiddush of here? Sirli kedusha mishayin a kitchen the shaitz of kitchen last tovei. The kedusha of shvito is for 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 after states. Kadam or megillah shavat shemakir al bishen meis. So there's a kedusha. So if I have a din of shvito, I have a din of shvito. I have to wait for three years. The beis Hashem, we will get a little bit back to the union of beret tzor in the next nap, but we'll stop over here on my side. Have a wonderful day. Call to and Hashem will continue tomorrow night. Call to.